Today I'm gonna put siding on the chicken coop and then I'm gonna get the roof on. And that's gonna be the first step in getting this thing weatherproof and ready for chickens. More decorative stuff for the front and the rest of the sides are gonna be covered with just regular plywood. I'm gonna start putting that up now. cut out, chicken door cut out. I'm gonna put a two by four fascia board. Same thing on the back side. These roofing panels that I got from Menards, they're 16 inch standing seam, just like this in the background here. And all the fasteners are covered, which is awesome because they'll never go bad. So basically you screw one piece down, then the next piece clips on top of it. I'll need to have cross bracing this way to fasten them. So I'm gonna do blocking like I did in the floor. I'm gonna drill holes in it, but there can be some good venting between the insulation and roof metal. Metal roofs actually reflect the sunlight. It's less heat holding and, and absorbing than asphalt shingles are. So it'll actually keep your building cooler. Get the insulation and airflow between it, then that's gonna really be um, nice for this chicken coop. Today, I'm gonna put the roof on the chicken coop. I got the roofing metal in here. Let's get started. So now my two by four. So it fits snug on the piece of metal that I cut out. It's got a good uniform bend through it. We've got the drip edge, one at the top of the building. And then here's my piece of metal that I um, bent the edges to earlier. So you can see it's got a bend right here and it clips right on the drip edge. This one piece extends all the way to the top and then the screws are here and will be covered by the next piece which is really nice. Um, so the color isn't even supposed to fade for 40 years. We got the roof on have this reverse J trim, screwed it into the edge, and we'll bend the rake trim around the edges of it. Now I'll put it on, see if it fits. <laughs> We've got a beautiful roof. Got the roof on yesterday. It rained all night last night, so I want to see how it did. The coop is dry. This roof is holding out the water perfectly in place. It's so nice to know that I'm gonna have a dry chicken coop. I wasn't able to get the roof on right away, and so the coop had to endure a few rains. It was just tearing me up inside, but now it's now it's nice and roofed. But last night, as we were putting stuff away in preparation of the rain, Peach runs back in the house and is like, there's a loud noise clunking around in the truck. Grabbed my shotgun, ran out here, and I had my phone, just my phone light, and held it under my <laughs> gun, house clearing style. And the raccoon ran out of my truck. It was eating our trash, as it has been doing for months now. And it's the biggest raccoon I've ever seen. I <laughs> walked around in front of the chicken coop, and it made the brutal error of making one last eye contact with me and its eyes lit up with the light <laughs> and I took the shot and put it down. It's good to get those because they will break into chicken coops and eat your chickens. Don't worry, I'm gonna use his pelt to teach the other raccoons a lesson. This is kind of a full circle situation. My little brother Brian and I got suspended from high school for killing a raccoon at band camp and cooking it and feeding it to everybody. They knew what they were eating. Let's just put it that way. Front page of the newspaper was a huge deal. We had to go to after school school for kids with violent behavior, take a hunter safety course. <laughs> there was outrage. I'll post the link if you want to read the article, it's hilarious. 
no one really cared. Raccoons, zero. Cheer hearts, two that are publicly known. Uh, two confirmed, let's say. So, there we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Not a problem. Come back for a ton of progress next time. We're gonna finish the inside and get ready for chickens and wrap up the outside.